The inflated fire hose is one of the most useful techniques we have for victim rescue. This operation can be deployed rapidly and effectively with training and practice. This technique shall be deployed on the downstream side of the bridge or overpass. The minimum position should be an upstream lookout, a spotter, two inflated fire hose operators, a pendulum team, and a retrieval team as needed depending on water conditions. Traffic control shall be used to allow the spotter to have a clear line of sight to the inflated fire hose operation. This includes the removal of fire apparatus and law enforcement. The crew caps the hose with the hose inflator caps on both ends. Next, they will attach the high pressure hose to the cap and inflate with an SCB bottle to operating pressure, enough to be able to still squeeze the hose. Once inflated, remove the high pressure hose the lifeline is attached with an end of line rescue knot to the carabiner on one end and is passed through a carabiner on the other end of the hose. The pass through end is on the victim retrieval side of the river. The hose can now be lowered into position on the downstream side of the bridge. Communication must be used between the two operators to evenly adjust the rope through the inflated fire hose. The hose operators should maintain proper separation to present a large target for the victim. The team will move with the spotter to adjust based off the position of the victim in the water. When the victim goes under the bridge on the upstream side, the spotter will yell, victim under the bridge, and drop their hands. Victim under the bridge! Once the victim hits the hose, the team yells, drop, and the bridge-based team members release the rope. The pendulum team will quickly pull up the slack to create a horseshoe of hose around the victim and then guide the victim into the retrieval team. This shown here is an example that a non-inflated hose can still be used if the hose is unable to maintain pressure or time does not allow for inflation.